Yeah. Okay, everybody. Well, here we are at Game On 2021, the beginning of the year. This is a exhibition match between an Australian All-Star side in the black and a Sunshine Coast local team in the white. Uh, now the Australian side is made up of some current internationals, some ex-internationals and there's um, quite a few players in both sides. You'll recognize several similar names in both teams here. So there's a few family connections here and there for the All-Stars team. Uh, coached by Barry Dancer, the um, ex-international player uh, of uh, many, many campaigns going back to the 70s. Also um, coached Australia, Great Britain and England and uh, very prominent in the Hockey India League as well of recent times. So that's very down to the coach. They've got two goalkeepers in the All-Stars team, Chloe Daly and Sam Lapsley. And here we are, we get on the way. Uh, Scott Brennan in the All-Stars has taken the place of Rich Schultz, who um, pulled out. And then we've got uh, Ian Schultz, Shane Kenny, Kendra Fitzpatrick, Morgan Gallagher, that's it. Woody Elder having a crack. There's like the uh, Liam De Jong there. Uh, all the way back. And following on with the roll call for the All Stars, there's Martin Olds on the far side now with the overhead. Uh, Lisa Eglinton, Jill Golds, Savannah Fitzpatrick, Australian player. Her uh, father, by the way, was also an international, as was her sister Maddie. Uh, Matt Golds, of course. Uh, Massive amount of caps for Australia. Melanie Wells, Troy Elder, Woody Elder. I have a team up here for a shot. Obstruction there. Uh, Maddie Wells, Liam De Young, and Mark Knowles, and that rounds out the All Stars side. So, uh, quite some credential players in there. The Sunshine Coast is a local team, but they they have got some good players in the side. But not uh, you wouldn't expect any great surprises in today's match. You fully expect the. Um, the All-Stars team to win. Yeah, well, coming out for the Sunshine Coast, well, they're straight into the top of the Now it's going to be a penetration here and a tomahawk shot, but it's nicely taken away. Of course, this is mixed hockey as well, which makes a whole lot of difference. So um, men traditionally being a bit quicker and a bit stronger than the ladies. Oh, very nice play there, good ball, but um, defence was far too good. And for the Sunshine Coast, uh, Dave Carlson is the coach. Uh, David's coached internationally as well, uh, though he's back in Australia at the moment. And we have Troy Rossiter in goal, Angus Sinclair, Caitlin Day, Jared Cleese, Mitch Kanovich, Ed Hamill, Lachlan Hardy, Dean Robertson, Jason Green, Eva Kasanovic, Grant Windle, Ash Robertson. Oh, nice play here. Oh, going to pull it in from behind. Oh, poked it through. No, let's have a look here. It's going to be a goal here by the looks. Oh, no, just missed the touch. Yeah, just missed the touch, but that's the first short corner of the match. And finishing off the side there, we've got Hannah Sanders, Ellery Dunn, and Chelsea Bodymead. So, first short corner of the match coming up. Let's see what the All-Stars have got, but it's so far it's one-way traffic, as you would expect. Just talking with coach Barry Dancer before the game. It's a little bit unusual for him to coach such a side as this. Looks like um, Woody Elder about to get the drag in. There's in she comes, top of the D, trap, pass right. Back. Yeah, layoff, layoff. No. Yeah, layoff, layoff. No. So it's been a soft goal, and there's number one for the All Stars. 11 minutes 45 on the clock. Yeah, a bit of a soft goal there. Between the postman and the keeper, it wasn't travelling that fast. He would have thought they would have had it. But it is more or less a friendly, and it is a sort of an exhibition match, so obviously going to be played in good spirits. But I'm sure the Sunny Coast will be giving it everything that they've got. Oh, so sneaky from Martin Holt. Let's put it through the reverse on the reverse hook of the stick there of the opposition player. A long hit down here. 
leading into the corner, but uh, couldn't connect with the forward there. Only two high forward in that particular line at the moment. Nice bit of skill, just lifted the ball up over the defender's stick on the reverse. Coming out wide. Yeah. Another missed trap out here. Unfortunately, just, just allowing an easy turnover ball. The All Stars. Oh, a little bit dangerous there, but uh, when you've got that amount of skill, I suppose you can be pretty happy that uh, you're going to get through. But uh, that was a, a poor quality pass. And there's the um, Sunny Coast all in white, oh, white shirts and black shorts, I should say. It's almost like the good guys versus the bad guys. Sideline ball following the mistrap up and over the top, and here she comes all the way across. Fabulous overhead, 30 meter overhead, but um, didn't connect because, of course, these days you can lift the head, the ball above your the stick above your head to bring the ball down, which you couldn't do a previous time, but these days that's fine. Nicely out of defense, one two, one two, draws the player, brings two with her. Yeah, they've still got great skills, these guys, they're so clever. Nope, still he goes on. Again, that's a lovely weighted ball through. Didn't quite make it, but there was very little in it. Almost made it through. Well, there's a raised ball, so turn over to the All-Stars. And it's a self-pass. That's been a great introduction into hockey. The self-pass has just made all the difference. Speeded up the game no end. Here's the Sunshine's post player about to take the team for the All-Stars, which is Scott Brennan, uh, previous president of the Sunshine Coast Hockey Association there in Dark. Uh, So-called Scooter as a nickname. A lot of hockey players, of course, have nicknames, uh, particularly in the Australian side. And this is turning into a little bit of a one-sided affair at the moment. Let's just hope the Sunshine Coast can start to get a bit of possession. Nice drag back, drag, drag. And there's a free hit. Taking it down normally, that free hit would go very, very quickly, but um, we're just slowing it down a little bit here. Yeah, draw, commit the player to the tackle, and then just pass it into the open space. And a big stick tackle there, but that's come through. There's advantage played on. And here's a bit of space. Nice work, that girl. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Yeah. There's something to um, talk about when you get home. It could be the first shot on goal for the white team, but no. Clean up there. Okay, so now we're getting a little bit of turnover ball in the middle of the park. A little bit more of a contest going on. Pleased to say. Good skill there. Oh, couldn't. Yeah, try and pop that through Martin Olds. It's probably not going to work. Look at that for an overhead. <laughs> oh, and what a takedown. Yeah, reaching over his shoulder and then a tomahawk shot down the line. Oh, straight into the goal. <laughs> Unfortunately, the goal is on the sideline. <laughs> oh, not really a goal. Yeah, Martin Olds there with the overhead. 30 or 40 meter overhead with a moving ball. The um, level of skill involved in doing that kind of pass is just incredible. Lovely 30 meter pass then again up to Scooter. And we just one time it out to the wing, or the wing half I should say, but uh, unfortunately she was ready, just a bit of a mistrap there. So, folks, here we are again. There's Sunny Colts attacking the D. Oh, lovely skill. Gonna be a tomahawk shot. Oh, it's a goal. Yeah. Sunny Colts attacking the D. Oh, lovely skill. Gonna be a tomahawk shot. Oh, it's a goal. Yeah. And the crowd are liking that. So it's an open side, of course. So. Well, imagine that they would like it. Yep, indeed. Yes, sir. Big crowd in here today, as you can see all around the ground. Quite a few people as well. 
So that's evened up the scores to one all with um, just under six minutes on the clock in the first quarter. So very nice finish. Oh, Matty Gold's missing the trap there. He tried to pick and run. As he um, turned, he tried to pick the ball. Here's an overhead. That's a beautiful overhead as well. Right at the top of the day. Oh, the ball just skidded away as it landed there. It's actually a brand new turf, this one. It's very spongy on the foot and um, it does need a lot of water. So I hope they water this at the quarter time break because otherwise it becomes very sticky. And a one two one two there. Oh, it's going out over the side. Okay, there's a sideline hit. Oh, bouncing ball there. This trap from Scooter. Uh, getting under. All stars are putting the sunny course under a little bit of pressure here, but that's better now. They're, they're getting the pass along the ground a little bit more, which is good. Nice little chink onto the reverse to try and sneak through the defender's legs, but didn't work. Maddie goes on the ball now. And then um, well cut out. So here we have some good movement. A bit nicer possession. Oh, he called for the ball, but um, the time she gave it to him already closed the space. Now she's getting closed down over here. That's a shame. Yeah. Kept moving forward with the ball. Would have been better off stopping or going backwards. Here's a shot. That's a good save for the keeper. And good clearance away. But only straight, unfortunately, not a good clearance I should say. Straight to Matt Golds. Yeah. He's running for a free hit there inside the 23, just on the dot. Look, it's up off the stick, so that's a uh, all stars ball again. Uh, no sneaking up into attack here. Oh, right onto the stick, so that's a very good trap. Off the foot, so got to take it back to the free hit. Players are dropping back into position now. An overhead, but that's going nowhere. Oops. Yeah, that's just pressure applied that um, forced the error. Nice skill on this far side over here. Clearance again, but that's um, whistle's gone. Waiting for the ball to return here on the far side. No ball boys or ball girls here today, which is surprising because I'm sure we had the juniors out earlier in their little matches and I'm sure they would have been absolutely delighted to have been allowed to play the ball boy or ball girl. Oh, there's a nice ball through, the um, keeper had to make a save, even though it was a missed trap that forced the save. And there's the long corner. Many goals. Mark Knowles, almost a um, oh, almost a rhyme. He found a channel, uh, hit it across there, not too hard, but just with enough pace on it. But nobody in contention. Pressure there, but now that's the white ball. It's going to take a look up. And I get the ball into a contentious position. There's another overhead, but again, it's going into traffic. Overhead, overhead. <laughs> Anything you can do, I can do better. But uh, that one's run away to nothing. One good thing is that um, even the local side doesn't have any advantage here of knowing the local conditions because this is a brand new turf. So everybody's on an equal footing in that respect. Very nice trapping there. 
But uh, again, that's the second time that ball's come into this right half position in uh, in a contentious situation or without space. There's a great pass through there, and it's off the stick and out for a long corner. So good play. Again, we've got a male and a female umpire today. It's mixed hockey, so we've got one of each, and that's the end of the first quarter, as we can see. It's, uh, one all. Well played. Okay, here we go. It's the uh, start of the second quarter, and the score's one all. There's two of the local players on the oops, halfway line, playing in the same club at Caloundra. Scooter on the right there. Yeah. And just having a word with each other, good mates of course. That's always wonderful to see. It's a great sport hockey with um, friendships that are built over the years. And the really wonderful thing is that people can play literally into their 80s. I saw Barry Mock here earlier on, I think he's 81 now. Still going strong, there's a good ball through there. In fact we're having over 70s, um, sorry, over 60s local session going on a Wednesday here so uh, the entry level is 60 and uh, they play for two hours on a Wednesday five six or seven aside depending on how many turn up for two hours that's pretty good going uh, the average age is probably 70 years old which is quite incredible and also we see Mark Knowles here running through the center of the field just come over the halfway line his father I believe Ryan is still playing and he'd be in his mid 60s these days and still a fabulous fabulous player the Schultz is a well rest, uh, well represented here today, uh, and Jody Schultz, Schultz is also the original coaching director. For, oh, look at Woody Elding! Oh, beautiful, beautiful! There's a shot. Oh, he missed. <laughs> Air swing. <laughs> beautiful overhead. Look at that straight up to the halfway line. Picked it. Threw it over his shoulder and moved it forward into space, all in the one movement, fabulous stuff. Great skill from the Sunny Coast. Yeah, Sunny Coast a little bit wary of actually committing to a tackle because they know they could well get eliminated with the skills that these guys have got. And you see how Mark reached in there from behind, even though he wasn't really close to the ball, he's reached over and actually just picked it. He showed it, saw that player to the left and then pull it back to the right. He's still going, look at that one. Lovely, lovely skill. Oh, 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 oh 360. Yeah. Yeah, the shot and goal, good left hand from the keeper. Beautiful save, it wasn't really travelling, it was about a half pace ball, but still had to be made. You can see he's got the sun in his eyes. We've got a hand up over there. Scooter blasts one long, right to the other side of the field. Interesting, it's sort of a, a shot. You wouldn't normally see that in, in, in a full international sort of Australian style hockey these days. We usually go short, short, but um, I suppose it's that sort of a day, so you can. There's a beautiful ball through. Miss Trappy sent it up, but uh, no danger there, so. And there's that ball again into this right side of the field for the white. It's um, gone over the sidelines again. A few times we've seen that. Not the hit, so we'll see a little bit of hitting. But then again, some of these are, but not the current squads, or their the previous squads. That was Liam D. Young who hit that ball a second ago. Number two on his shorts there on the right of screen. These days, of course, it's nearly all push and slap. Like that. Nice aerial skills there, pop, 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 and it was off a foot on the edge of the D, but not seen by the umpires, no, so he's, he's given a long corner. There's the slap I'm talking about. Out wide again, and again, it's just not accurate enough. Yeah, they, they just need to stick that pass, so it's a little bit better than that. No, it's well read. Oh, 
with a big chase on here. Beautiful weighted ball. We've got Mark Knowles to get around. Let's see how she does. Oh, <laughs> uh, Yeah, He's got to reach like an albatross if he reads that ball so well. How wonderful to get a chance to play against quality players like this. Yeah. Nice thoughts. Tried to show him on the inside and just pull it to the left. I still won the long corner, so. Oh, yeah, nicely done. Okay. It popped it round. Oh. oh, yeah, nicely done. Okay. It popped it round. Oh. <laughs> lifted it up there to the far post it was in the air so uh, at time it had to be spot on but it wasn't flashed across the goal and went out on the sideline uh, they're putting themselves under pressure a little bit here the sunshine coast as you can see tomahawk no we're off target a looping nothing shot really just didn't make good purge, just hit the bottom of the ball, looped it up and, and over, and way to nothing, just too soft. That's a better trap, but it's really only um, a half pace ball, so if you couldn't trap that, it'd be something not quite right. Yeah, it's pretty magnificent for these young Sunshine Coast players to have a chance to play against some of the biggest names internationally that have ever played hockey. Well, nice little lift there yet again. This one. Yeah, draw and pass, draw and pass. When he goes there, on the inside. No. And again, it's going over the back line, so out to nothing. That was better. Hit him. Oh, you're never going to thread a ball like that. You've got to beat three Australian players. Um, that might work, work in local hockey, but it's not going to work on a day like today. There's an overhead, but no, that, again, that's too long. So they're just pushing that little bit too hard, the local side. They're pushing that little bit too hard. They've got to try and slow it down, try and control it a bit more, wait for somebody to arrive in space, and then throw the pass. Oh, a terrible pass from Betty Gold's there. Doing exactly the type of thing I was just talking about not doing. Yeah, it just waited, knew where the ball was coming because he didn't get a hold of it in the first time. So it was always bouncing, always hard to control. There's a good ambush there from the sunny coast. There's we've got people in the middle here. Good, that's more like it. Yeah. yeah so don't hang on to the ball too long. Ooh. Tomahawk, but it wasn't a tomahawk or a flat stick reverse pass, but it actually hit the round of the stick. That's why it bobbled. And that's why the umpire's blown that one. Oh, lovely skill. There's so, so some beautiful skill, these old, old boys. Oh, just missed trap there. So I miss, uh, miss handle the ball, I should say, not miss trapped. movement but you can't keep going forward when there's nobody to go forward to oh, what a what a beautifully floated ball it was there to be had but um, what happened is the forward there turned and looked forward instead of keeping eye contact 
with uh, Matt Golds there as he, was, as he was about to throw that ball, so that was the problem. Here we go, nice first time on the deflection, but out and over the sideline. <laughs> Hi, White and Hanson, all the way over here to Scooter. And Scotty Brennan, local player, playing in the All Star side. You see, that's what happens. He made a goal there, surrounded by three players, which was good coaching. But instead of trying to go forward or throw a, a Hail Mary pass, he just popped it back. Ooh, and there's off the foot. Bounced up. And they're playing it on now. Found its way past two dark shirts. Very strange seeing the Australian team because they're in a whole mixture of Queensland colours and various <laughs> black t shirt singlets and even grey in the case of Maddie Golds there. So it looks like just a local scratch team. <laughs> White ball again, sideline. You're gonna have to force this, but yeah. Oh, beautiful ball! Oh, <laughs> oh. He's trapped. Ooh. There's a bit of a squawk going up here. As he's standing behind Matt. Uh, Matt Knowles. Oh, here we go. It's looking good. It's a deflection. <laughs> I tried to receive that overhead and it was um, very hard to control and it's travelling that kind of pace so it flicked it towards the goal a little bit the right sort of an idea wow oh, very nice skill there so that's the idea, popped it back I haven't looked, no that's not going to go Great pass. There it, yeah, here's, here's trouble. First time ball. And then I can hear behind me now the dulcet dull, tones of the local. It is um, Jeff Schultz, Jody Schultz's father, and father of all the Schultzes on the field today. There's various Schultzes down there. Yeah, one of them pulled out earlier on, but there's, uh, there's two of them on the field in three to count Jody as the regional coaching director. Jeff would probably be the oldest player in open grade hockey on the Sunshine Coast, possibly, um, uh, certainly one of the two, I would say. Well, the other one being myself, <laughs> that's if either or both of us play this season. Oh, nice ball through. Here we go. This is more like it. We got space. Oh, lovely pass, but missed trap again. Okay, yeah. Made the player. There it is. Pop it back. Pop it back. Oh, it's on the tomahawk. Cross the face of goal. Oh. Well, I will say the finishing has not been that spectacular from the All-Stars, because they, they are actually putting it on the keeper, but they're, they're not full-blooded shots, I'd say. There's really nobody there to, to pass to, she's got to pull that ball back, she's still going forward. Well done, there's a shot on the target, oh, that's it. Oh. Very good shot too. Well there you go, speculator and it paid off. Oh, here's another one. Anywhere will do in that case, it seemed like. There's a little bit of space. Oh, but that was picked off by Marty's getting the old style reverse upright. And here he comes now. He's going to pass left pass. There it is now. 
Oh, oh. <laughs> it's still on though. Oh, the keeper's still there. Oh. <laughs> oh, there you go, hey. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. Hi, <laughs> Jimmy. Good to see you, Jeff. Everybody family outing down there. Hey. This is Team Schultz. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, good pass, is it? Oh, well saved, keeper. Had to make that save. Had to go down, still on. We're all been surrounded. Oh, there's the clock. Saved by the clock. Oh, well, it was a half time, and that's uh, one all still. Well played, everybody. Holy shit, he ran you there, And he ran the whole time. He ran an inside with Spinko. Yeah, I'm uh, still doing pretty well the same. <laughs> and run you can. Yeah, well. I think if I can, you might as well. You're not doing better, Sunny Coast here, are they? When you're... No. The All Stars haven't really finished, to be honest. Well, wouldn't they? If they need so. Yeah. I'll send a few of the men up and probably prove them yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Young should have finished that one down there. Oh, yeah. That was a good one. That was a big one. That young girl's good. She's great. <laughs> Oh, bubbled through there, but uh, oh, <laughs> umpire played it on. Here we go. It's going to happen. It's going to be a tomahawk. Oh, it's, it's, oh it crossed the face of goal, but no, it's well covered. And the umpire found, I think, a foot maybe in there or something. Uh, anyway, he's um, it's more or less played on anyway. <laughs> We're sliding the ball out there to the left wing. Oh. Okay, that's a long corner. A lot of space over here on the right. No, but he goes into the D. Not with a high ball. Looks like he played it on. It's just running out to nothing at the end of the field. As I said before, no ball boy, so the goalkeeper there is making her way across. Young lady in goal now, which is good to see. Another hit. That's it, well taken. Yeah, take him on, take him on. Nice play. There she is, make yourself available, that's good. Down into the pocket, and what she got, pulls it back. Long corner, no, 16. Now that's better, but uh, nearly missed, nearly lost out. Couldn't get in position quickly enough to be able to take down the trap. Right idea. Ooh. Very, very poor. Pass. Oh, just. Oh, look at over the top. People went down. It was all there to be had. Oh, oh what a chance missed. Oh, made it straight up the stick. 
The right wing is in place there. She can make it through. She came off the right foot. Oh. Right idea. The game's moved into the air these days, so once you get the defender laying down a flat stick, pop it up and over. But um, got to be careful not to lift it too high or into the defender's body, of course. Good skill. Looked like he was going to do a spin on the reverse. Kept it going, kept it going, kept it going. And there's a goal! He was going to do a spin on the reverse. Kept it going, kept it going, kept it going. And there's a goal! Absolutely. And there you go. Who would have thought it? Sunshine Coast 2. And the All Stars 1. I have to say, in the second half, the Sunshine Coast has looked the more likely so far. <laughs> this trap bounces across the top of the D. Here it is into the D now. He's lifted protect the ball. Oh, he's on the ground. Oh, good defence. Holy moly. Oh, man. Well, that's a way to get a mouthful of stick going down there, but um, fortunately, no harm done. to somebody you don't want to give it to Martin Knowles. No. There's a lot of squawking going on at the front calling for the ball. That's better. Now it's arriving. Well read, very well read. Trap, but uh, oh, it's giving back and giving back again. Just overplaying the ball a little bit. Ooh. Beautiful. That stick pass on the reverse. Good movement up the front. But, uh, oh, oh. There you go, there you go. Oh, the ball was across the face there, should have gone to the top of the day. Two players arriving in black. I decided to go route one into the day. <laughs> nice play, nice play. <laughs> Found its way through after a missed trap. Yeah, good play, good play, good play. Oh, well, Sunshine Coast on the deck again, he's blasting one in. Far post was on, I think that's where he was going. He probably just, I'd say, he just hit that. He was looking for the far post, really. And that's where he was um, loaded with the player. Not knows again, just an easy overhead there. Oh! Played, moved it on nicely. Is a shot. It uh, wasn't really a shot. It was 
within the direction of the goal, but you'd hardly call it a shot. But well kept in that goal. They won't want to lose. No, they don't want to lose. You notice the intensity starting to get a bit Oh, there's a misfire overhead. Nice little tap out from defence there. Quite a bouncing ball can be a bit tricky to trap sometimes. Direction was right, just misread by the um, receiver. Where you have to move the ball on early. That's better. And you really need somebody arriving in the centre half position. No. Lucky to get away with that. Got to go down the back and then across. There it is, yeah, let's move it wide, make the players run, just make them run, make them run. There's the right wing arriving now. Good play. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and a missed trap on the back line. Whoever would have thought that would happen? She can't believe it, look at her face. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh! And ball just flashed up off the stick there into Mark Knowles. Caused the danger. You see Mark's white mouth guard from here. Knowles looks like he's got a big smile on his face, which he does really. Really nice guy. Nice moving down into the pocket. Can you get a short corner out of this? That's it. One, two, one, two. No. Good dribbling. <laughs> oh. Beautiful. Right onto the top of the D. It's good we just overbalanced there, he sort of reached into it. Well, that's an overhead. Yeah, it's a 50 meter overhead, but uh, there's no way he's going to be able to pull that one out of the air, it's just too far in front. Final quarter, Sunshine Coast are leading, surprisingly enough, by two goals to one over the All-Stars. The All-Stars have had a heap of chances, and in truth, they really have looked a little bit lacklustre in their finishing. I don't really think they've had the venom in their striking that you would normally have if they were playing international, but still, um, it's more or less an exhibition match, so it's good that the contest is reasonably even. It makes it more enjoyable for everybody. Thank you. Oh, Sonny Coles here off to a good start. She actually did very well to find that. That's excellent play so far across the face of goal. Cut out and um, nicely out by Nolsey. Here it is coming out to DY. He has a look around before he even receives the ball. And there's a long ball forward up to the front. Very good lead. What a lovely pass that was. Yeah. Almost inch perfect, but couldn't quite do, connect with the defender. Really good play. Yeah, very nicely done. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> hopeful to say the least. And there's Noles again. See the length of that drag when he pulls the ball back away from the defender. 
the centre defend drop, takes them one way, takes them back the other way, little dink on the reverse, through the legs. They're all claiming a foot. Umpire's playing it on. Oh well. Uh, the disengaged umpire, I thought I heard a whistle there on the far side, but maybe not. Up off the stick and play on, that's it. Trying to slide it through under the arm. Oh, that's a bit unfortunate. The whistle's gone, it was actually, it looked like it was off the stick. So, a little bit unfortunate there. That one's bobbled through, would you believe it? Uh, he's chipped the goalkeeper with a slice shot, Liam De Young. <laughs> it's, it, it, no, there's a goal now. Deflected goal, back across the face, the goal from the far side. Screwed into the centre and then it's laid down the stick on the flat. Just opened up the blade and popped it into the far side netting. Well, that was... A, uh, yeah, so that's two all. That's really good hockey all round. And it's good to see them trying some little tricks and things. Not just straightforward stuff. Very impressed to see Liam De Young just on the right hand side of the D, just laying the stick back. Oh, look at this for a reverse stick pass, a beautiful trap. I just laid the stick back and he tried to float the ball over the goalkeeper's head and into the far corner. What a goal it would have been. One for an exhibition match for sure. And there's a nice little channel just opened up to the right wing. She's in the D, he's going to take a slap shot at goal. It comes off the keeper and back into the face. Got an open goal now. And take a slap shot at goal. It comes off the keeper and back into the face. Put it off the goal now. And back to the goal. Oh, oh, oh. oh what a, what a thought. A great finish, Sunshine Coast. Yeah, how many chances do you need? But they got it on the third goal. Yeah, bang, bang, bang. That's what often happens in a game of hockey. Oh no, no, the goal, the, the umpire's overruled it. He said it's his, it's blown, to give him danger. He's just indicated danger, that one. Sunshine goes back on the halfway line, the crowd was roaring. <laughs> but the umpire said no, it was danger. And we'll take a look at that in the replay. Oh, they get Oh, the All Stars have decided that they're going to allow the goal. Oh. They said it's okay, you can have your goal, that's all right. <laughs> they scooted it down the other end of the field because he thought it started and then he thought it was a 16 and yeah, nice skill. <laughs> uh, off the foot, but play on. Up it through. Yeah. Going off the feet. Stick check, stick check. And head to the side, let's see what they got this time. Drag, drag, and the feet. Yeah. Just got the far post. No. No. A pop, pop, pop. Oh, great save. The keeper, there's another short corner. That's actually, I think, the only second short corner of the game. We only had one in the first half from the All Stars. Jay, well done, goalkeeper. Great reflexes. Well, there's a big discussion going on here on the top of the day, so. But then again, it's all, they're all new people down there. I don't suppose too many of these have played together for a long, long time. So somebody's got to make a decision and figure it all out. Scooter with a drag out. Just, just flash it into the corner, near to the, just inside the post. And that was followed by a stick check. Popped it up off the foot, just outside the D. 
Oh, very nice play, deflected back towards the spot, not quite enough on it, but there's a defender there, it's an easy four stick trap from that angle. Again, far side. It's too slow, too slow. Now it's all closed down. Oh, it's a trap, a mistrap. Only one defender there. He's making good. It's a reverse stick shot again. Another one blasted over the top. He's overhead. Oh, very nice to take it on the reverse. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to He's going over the top as well. A beautiful long pass He's down into the pocket. Very nicely taken down on the second attempt. And the pocket into the D. Couldn't make it through. <laughs> That's it, that's it. That's it. Move the ball around. That's the way. Very nicely done. Great for support. Nosey up there in the forward line now. So they're obviously rotating the players around a bit. Trapped across the face of goal. Very nicely taken. What a great trap. Uh, quite liking that. Ball's gone out over the sideline down there, as you can see, but it's back on the field now. Smashes one in, bounced up. What's Noel going to do here? Not too much. With he being very gentlemanly, but uh, popped it off a foot. He normally, they blast the hell out of a ball like that, and then um, the defender can make their own arrangements. No, no, no. But in a friendly game like this, we just little tap and onto a foot and play to the short corner. There's the injection and trap. Nosey with it. There's the injection and trap. Nosey with the flick, flat along the ground again. And, uh, put directly onto the defender's flat stick. Nice slap down the line, but it's a bouncing ball, unfortunately. However, it sort of made its way through here. Oh, very nicely done. It's a shot of goal of. Oh, could save the keeper. Yeah. Well, they're not shy shooting on goal, these young ones. Yeah, beautiful skill there. Oh, nice tap. Oh, lovely little touch. Not quite enough to lift it over the keeper. 
Oh, right in the block hole now. Yeah, they need to go forward and meet the ball or go backward and get it in the air before it bounced. This probably would have been the preferred option. You see when you watch these players receiving the ball, before they receive the ball they're already looking to see what's on, so they know when they receive it where they're going to put the ball as they receive it, so it's, uh, then the ball's going to be put either trapped dead or put into space ready for the next passage of play. And that's a very good tip for young players. He knows he's scanning around then just as he's receiving the ball, he knows where it's going. And then he's drawing the defender to create the space and open it up if he wants. That would normally have been a shot or blast across the face of goal, but he's again just being nice, just walking it through. Yeah, another short corner. Oh, yeah, it's been played in the right spirit this game, that's for sure. Okay, here we go, there's the injection. Oh, let it slip through. Straight back in now, it's up high. It's a great trap. Oh, keep it down well. So, Keeper had a very good game actually, although the All Stars have been pretty kind in some, some of the time. They haven't really put full blooded shots on the keeper, but it's, um, you know, little skillful shots and dinks and passes and a couple of half, half pace shots. But uh, the keeper's done really well still, read the ball well, attacked the ball nicely. been building, it's been coming. I say they've been nice, but uh, it was always going to happen. Just a question of time. So that's three all. As the clock winds down in the last 30 seconds, would you believe it? <laughs> uh, it's up and over. Oh, very well taken. And she's still got the aerial, trying to dink it through there. Still going. Oh, you've got no one to contend with here. Yeah, Knowles and Goals, it's going to be a tough combination to get through. Fast pass. And that's the final 10 seconds as the clock winds down. And it gets passed down the other end. Jody Kenny on the field now, the regional coaching director, ex Australian expert drag flicker, and uh, Poppy Roo. So, the final handshakes and congratulations all around. The game played in excellent spirit. The young ones are out there as well. 
together with the old ones. Yeah, skill being passed on, friendships being made. Yeah, it's a wonderful scene. Well, thank goodness Australia is um, secure in its own little bubble. We've not seen much of international hockey lately, so this has been a real treat to have the All Stars coming to play here in what effectively is the inauguration of the turf, brand new turf on the Sunshine Coast. So, thank you all round. And bringing up the rear, the umpires, very well played umpires. Kept the game moving. Everybody was happy, no dissent, and they both come off smiling. <laughs>